We are being joined right now by Dr. Lucilia Mores. She is a senior scientific program manager at HESI near Washington, DC. Uh, thanks for joining us, really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Uh, tell me a little bit about, sort of in a nutshell, targeted protein degraders. Uh, what exactly are they? So targeted protein degraders are a novel class of therapeutics that have the potential to uh, target uh, difficult to treat uh, disease um, by targeting proteins that have been uh, previously not successful in, uh, in being targeted. Um, they do that by recruiting the endogenous proteasome system of the cells, which is what nature gave the cells to get rid of unwanted proteins. Uh, and in doing so, um, they are targeting specific disease-causing proteins, which will then be completely degraded or um, inhibited by the proteasome system. And what are some of the therapeutic opportunities uh, for protein degraders? Um, so essentially, uh, currently, the ones that are mainly developed are targeting cancer applications. Um, looking at the recent data, uh, they are about 28 uh, target protein degraders in clinical, in various phases of clinical development, and 25 of them are targeting cancer applications. Uh, the ones that are not uh, for cancer applications, it will involve um, uh, skin disease, alopecia, uh, and there are new emerging applications that are being explored as well, not yet in clinical development, uh, but look promising um, uh, regarding infectious disease. So targeting proteins from bacteria and viruses instead of proteins from human disease. Um, and I will also add uh, another application beyond the pharmaceutical sector, uh, which uh, agrobiotechnology companies are developing to help uh, crop protection and disease prevention in plants. Uh, with the promise that the uh, long-standing effect of targeted protein degraders and uh, the, the low dose required for them to be effective, uh, that will be a, a great advantage compared to the tons of chemicals currently um, distributed in the lands. And, and what sort of challenges are you and, and other researchers facing right now when it comes to targeted protein degraders? So there are a few challenges. Um, most of them are related to their unique physical chemical properties. So these are uh, larger molecules, um, usually complexes involving various molecules. Uh, so larger than small traditional pharmaceuticals. Um, and with that, there are unknown mechanisms of absorption and distribution, which are aspects that are critical when evaluating those molecules before reaching the market to ensure their safety. Um, so these, some of these challenges will impact the way the, uh, the drugs are evaluated for safety assessment. Um, some of the methods traditionally used for small molecules may be applicable, uh, but may also require some adaptation or uh, new ways to, to do these safety assessments. Um, which brings me to um, a session that will be presented here at SOT on Wednesday. Um, co-chaired by Professor Ruth Roberts and my colleague at HESI, Connie Mitchell, uh, will be presenting a, a full session on uh, promises and challenges of protein targeted curators and specifically on safety challenges. Okay, so that is Wednesday here at Music City Center. Any idea of the time? Uh, mo uh, Wednesday morning, 8 a.m., so uh, wake up early. And join us. If you want to learn about targeted protein degraders. All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Morris, and I really appreciate your time and enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you for having me. Pleasure.